Hey guys, Jobin here. I wanted to uh, show you guys these really quick um, before I sent them out. These are Dave's knives that he sent me and uh, a couple that he uh, is getting from me, actually. Um, all of these have had wave jobs done on them. And you guys have seen the L01 done lots of times before. It's a knife that's very, very well suited to getting this done. And just like all the others, this one turned out fine. I put these little um, mini lanyards on here. They aren't strictly necessary, but I try to remember to include them whenever I do a wave job on a knife with a lanyard hole because they provide just a little bit of extra grip reliability. Um, because when you're doing the draw on a waved knife, you're generally gripping it something like this. Basically pinching it between your thumb and index finger, a little bit of middle finger. But if you have something to wrap your pinky around, uh, you can get a little bit more reliable of a pull back. So it's generally a good thing. Uh, the Rat 1 he sent me came out extremely well. Actually, I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm surprised by how, how uh, smoothly it works. All of these things are sort of a little bit subject to what pants you're wearing and also some degree of practice, but this one's very close to optimal. Uh, like I said before in my last video, this is, this is actually a very nice knife. I'm, I'm impressed with it. The native works pretty well. It might require a little bit more practice. There were some sort of interesting design considerations when deciding exactly how to do this on this blade. So for those of you following along at home, who uh, like to do this for yourself, I thought I might chat about some of them. Basically, whenever you're doing this, I started that wrong. Well, obviously you have the opening hole here. That's where the designers intended uh, the leverage to be applied, right? To get the blade to swing open smoothly. So if you're trying to put a hook on here to snag on your pocket, it's gonna need, generally speaking, to be pretty close to that point where the designers it basically intended for the force to be applied anyway. But on a Spyderco knife, if you want to keep it fairly small and you don't want to take a huge gouge into the spider hole itself, zoom a little bit here, then it needs to be either in front of or behind the hole, right? Nowhere else for it to be. Now, I considered putting it behind the leverage might have been marginally better, but there are a couple reasons I didn't. One is obviously because there's this jimping here. And that would have made it trickier to put in, and also uh, ruined a lot of the jimping, and made this place where you're supposed to be able to rest your thumb a lot less comfortable. Uh, the other issue to consider was that this is a very typical for Spyderco leaf-shaped blade. So if you look at it, particularly in relation to way the angles the pocket clip is oriented at, then right here is the highest point on the blade. It's the part where it sticks out from the handle the most. So every centimeter you go back from here, you're actually going to require a little bit more of a tweak to the angle you pull the knife out to get the wave to activate because it's basically going to be on the lee <laughs> there's an obscure word for you of the um, of the highest point of the blade so I figured all in all it would probably best to put it in front here and this little guy uh, we talked about whether it would be possible to do it on a 702 and I said you know what sure I'll try it and it's such a small knife to do it on that it might require a little practice to get it to work reliably, uh, but it does work and it's kind of a neat little thing. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little look at our recent project. And as always, it's Jobin signing off saying I flubbed that horribly. Remember where your knife is.